Keyshawn Maverick again. I'm here to give you my findings from my meme experiment. Stay tuned. you back. So, what exactly happened with my meme onslaught? Well, first, I made a bunch of short videos. Those who follow me, you've seen the uh, Rick and Morty skit when I was talking about, uh, well, yeah, writers with uh, creative freedom and how they act. So, I was, uh, I was uh, instructed, not really instructed, it was a suggestion and a request video on the TikTok business platform so i was looking at them, okay me and we're getting loads of loads of views like millions of views anyway so i'm always trying to figure out you know what is this viral thing and who knows what they're talking about they're getting a lot of information about how to go viral from loads of creators and it only works for those creators or sometimes other ones you know but still i need to find out what works for me so here's my findings uh, once again, I did. I don't. You, you've noticed. I try not to use profanity on my platform. I really do. The reason I do that is because I uh, noticed with a lot of other creators. Yes, I got the information from them that uh, you don't use profanity in your in your videos. The videos can go further. They can go to different places than profane videos can. Even though profane videos do get a lot more views a lot more quickly. That's why I chose that one, because it has profanity in it, but it's bleeped. I posted consistently for a few days straight. It was supposed to have been uh, 10 days straight, because I had 30 videos. But after posting and researching and posting and researching and posting, I outgrew the next videos in the meme thing. And uh, technically, that would be like false advertising to post them without an explanation as to why. The reason I posted them, because it had, as you've seen, you looked above each one in French and in English, the services I offered. The services were the most important portion of, of doing that because I was noticing I'm not getting a lot of traffic to my Fiverr or my gigs or my Upwork or anything towards editing. But I get traffic when I post a video. Like, if, if I would watch sometimes, I'd post a video, wait a little bit, maybe 24 hours, go to my Fiverr, look at the analytics on it, and they would, I was making impressions, just like people are coming and people are clicking, but I wasn't sealing the deal. <laughs> Camera fell over. Where was I? Clicking to actually purchasing my services. So I thought I could advertise my services a little bit better, because that's another thing, I have a business account, so I should now try advertising. So I should start advertising my services just a little more. Hopefully that'll translate into possible purchases, possible clicks, whatever. But that wasn't the main thing of it. Another reason, it helped me, you know, make more content. On the videos, all the videos were the same. Each video was exactly the same, other than the captions above them, where they show what I was offering. The reason I chose one video to make uh, 30 memes out of was uh, another profile that I saw. Follow all the rules of, you know, making a viral video that I, you know, seen when I was getting hints from tips and tricks from him, 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 and him, but then it did it its own way. They posted one video, they had a GoFundMe, they posted one video. It was a part one. And they just posted it over and over and over and over and over and over every day for two years. To the point where if you went to the first video, the first time it was posted, you know, when you should put a part two up, went there and the time limit that they gave for the GoFundMe had actually expired. So you couldn't even give, <laughs> but they were still posting that same video. And I saw over time, the video went from 100 views, 200 views, 600 views, 700 views. You scroll past in a couple months, 1,000 views, 3,000 views, 4,000 views. Fast forward a couple more months, 
10,000 views, 20,000 views, and you go a couple more months, 100K views. And I was like, this one video that doesn't have a part two that you can't even, even if they did the part two, you can't interact with, is going viral. Now looking back, I'm pretty sure that was a scam account. Which brings another per point to this video. It was a scam account, but still, just looking at that, that's how they went viral. I was like, dedication. And I commend them, because even posting these memes, my life is happening at the same time. <laughs> so I'm running through and gating and this, that, and the other. Meme this and that and the other. Meme this and that and the other. Meme, you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, uh, also doing that was actually uh, another thing. I grabbed a bunch of people's information <laughs> and put them into my plan so that I can knock out as many of these people's myths and tricks as I could possibly do. There's so many of them, but this the uh, memes when I was releasing them at the schedule I was releasing them and the amount I was releasing according to some uh, TikTokers, YouTubers, just social media influencers, you need to post three times a day. So you see I tried three times a day, but it's difficult. But when I looked at these other creators and how they were chopping up the same video, I gave that a shot. But I'm chopping up these videos for the grid plan that they have for music releases. You take one song, you record it perfectly, record the video three times, let the video in the 10 second intervals, and post each one over 50 days. And then you release the song. And that's what I'm doing with DJ the Busset. DJ the Busset. If anyone was wondering how you say it, one of these days I'll actually use that. I've been saying that every day since I was like 10. I first made it up. I'm pretty sure he has a Facebook account, but I forgot it. <laughs> this, is, this has all been a long time coming. I mean, there's a lot of little pieces in there and it's a big learning curve. If you're also a fan, you've noticed that I posted a video a little bit ago where I said, I'm gonna be taking the music out of my profile and putting it on another profile. I did, I was expecting to lose followers. I lost about 60 followers. That's part of my analytics of it. It was also planned because I wanted to know, because I'm gonna be making other pages. So I wanted to know what to expect as I break each part of G-Sean Maverick down into its individual parts. I just said toothbrushes because, like I said, I need you to help me shine. But fan, that's what you would like to be. But from my ACX campfire video, I took it and used it because I have a sound now. It's not a viral sound, but it's a sound. I used it and put it under the latest video. Um, I don't know if it has a name yet. Uh, where I was, uh, it's another meme where I was, oh, and it was a side runner. I ran the two memes and always had one meme ran beside it that was different so that I could break up the monotony. But yeah, I took that and I used my sound and added the rest to it. I actually enjoyed doing that because it's, it's kind of a way to make lazy content and you, know, you don't have to work so hard. And hopefully, and that's another thing I was learning little tips and tricks to get faster videos out. And I'm getting there because I don't know if you've noticed, but every one of my music videos in the past, I had three settings in each one. I just didn't do the whole song yet, unless it was necessary. So, I'm just under stress. You see, it's one setting, but the camera's all over the place. I did the whole song, spot, until I found the shot of me saying the right words. Like, if you go back to Damsel under stress and you look at uh, wearing shoes instead of sandals, you ain't saying that. I'm on a totally different part of the song, but my mouth looked like I said wearing shoes instead of sandals, so I chopped it up and put it there. You look back and you're like, that's not what he's saying. No, it didn't look like it. <laughs> and uh, also with my new platform, new platforms, there's gonna be a bunch. Um, you've seen that picture on here where it's got a picture of my wall. Some of each one, some of them have different pages they go to on them. They are listed different. Each one, some of them are different pages. And if you look back at the picture, you'll see G. Sean Maverick. It's the long one. 
You look at it, you're like, hmm, that piece of paper is normal size. That was normal size. That one is long. That's just your Maverick. Uh, but anyway, on those platforms, just because of this whole, not because of this whole scenario, this has been, this is years. This has been years. This is just all the things that I've learned that, you know, you see a creator and some people will take their entire page and create a whole new page just to get their followers and to scam them. So if you want, you see any of my pages, you see me somewhere else and it ain't him and it ain't got g Sean Maverick's theme song on it, that ain't my page. I own that, I own the song, I own that, it's mine. And if you do see it somewhere else, let me know, I'm gonna get it taken down. Back onto the analytics. Uh, I've noticed before the hacking, cause you knew a hack happened, before a hacking, I was massacring the views compared to before. It was 200 views a day, 200 views a day, 200 views a day. It still was 200 views a day, but it was across three videos. So I was pulling thousand views on the same video, the same little clip. It was like thousand views, boom, thousand views. Would you add that, 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 a thousand views. It's like, is it the same people? Is it different people? Uh, but it still didn't matter. I'm like, I wasn't getting that. Anyway, so I posted my first burst of videos. Uh, it's me and my plants. I posted that. And um, I posted nine videos, three languages. And uh, I noticed TikTok has a cap for me. I could only get 1,200 views. It cut it off, done. They ain't showing the videos no more. It straight up zero after that. So I was noticing it was like 20, it was maybe. 200 views, 200 views, 200 views, 200 views, 200 views, 200 views. You got to nine, zero. I was like, oh, so there's my threshold. And then I realized when I posted my first video on G Sean Maverick, on DJ DeBusset, my first video on DJ DeBusset, a thousand views. That's it. They want you to post more for the same views. I didn't know that. I was, but I only would have found, I wouldn't have found that out if I didn't, you know, try this. And man, that's a good thing. On Instagram, eh, I didn't do much. I did get a lot more engagement, 14 people. Sometimes I'll be seeing my posts versus zero, um, <laughs> you know, um, or one or two still. I was getting more people, hitting more people because I was showing up constantly, showing up and more people were getting my video. What I'm most proud of, now this is the thing, it ain't about the numbers to me. <laughs> It really ain't about the numbers, cause I'm doing this like, like I said, for rivers water. It ain't about the numbers. But my YouTube went from three followers quadrupling to twelve. I was like, what? What? That's, it's just mind-boggling to me, cause if if I don't know if any of you actually are that level of stalker, um, <laughs> you're not a stalker, but a follower that you followed me under my actual name. I was like, it took me since soldier boy released crank that to today to get four subscribers soldier boy crank that anyway soldier boy crank that to get to four and doing this i got to 12 <laughs> in the short span of days it was, i mean i didn't even make it to the whole 10 i think five six days that is mind-boggling for me yeah, we know I got hacked, blah, blah, blah. Once again, don't give them any uh, attention, but I want to give the attention to the effect that they had. Like I said, I wanted to give attention to the effect of the hacker, but not the actual hacker, because I really don't care. I'm G. Sean Maverick. I'm online. I have a web page. I went to my web page, and it has a comment section. I've been young. I've tried to become a hacker and programmer. So I know a thing or two. So what happened was on my page, this is before the hack on my, twi my Twitter, before that. On my uh, g Sean Mavic website, someone tried to hack it already. I put, as soon as I launched the website, they tried to hack it. Like, I, I have an email, a text box, email thing, text box, and, um, and I have a contact text box. And you can write whatever you want in there. And the text box is really nice and you can type whatever. Um, but, you know, a hacker would be like, I'm gonna take over this from this place right here. So, you know, they, they would put code in the uh, comment section. So hopefully when I activate it, virus, Trojan, whatever it was they were trying to send me, would activate. But I already disabled that on my, uh, my comments. So they do anything there. 
it comes to me as text. So I just am looking at them like, whoa, this is, what are you trying to tell me? Ampersand, circle, box, greater than, less than, what? Divi, I don't know what you're talking about. The only things that ever really even contact me on the website is hackers and um, advertisements. So uh, I'm getting used to seeing those. Anyway, so they ended up hacking my Twitter. Blah, blah, blah. Who gives a crap? More hacker important than it is to me. Um, ended up deleting the Twitter. Whatever. I didn't need it anymore because I saw his um, on from a couple other TikTok videos and inspirational messages. You got to get rid of the person you were, to, you were to grow into the person you're going to be. So if it, if, none of, if any more of my personal stuff gets attacked, I'm just deleting it. I don't need it online anyway. All right. Um. But one of the things that happened was I took down all the photos from my pay, my website because of that. Because I was like, oh man, they're going to use my content against me. That's the thing I was afraid of because I'm like, that's my voice and my word. People might believe me. You might scam them. Nope. Don't like that. So I took everything out of my website. You couldn't get into it. And then I went to my, my TikTok and I demolished it. I freaking recorded every video on it because I was like, ain't nobody seeing nothing. Cause I couldn't even get into it because I had to delete because that's nothing my phone was hacked so I had to erase everything and start over on my phone everything anyway but you always like a phoenix you grew from it you know um so I went back to TikTok went to one of my videos after I was able to get back into the account talked to him and said I'm the one who actually blocked these accounts okay they released I'm gonna block these videos. They released the videos, some of them. And I was like, what's wrong with these videos? And I clicked them, I realized I had actual content violations. I did not know I had violating content. I didn't, I thought everything was perfect. I was like, these piece content, eh, there's no reason to be, you know, reporting me. No, they found stuff that was wrong. And that's how I learned about whitelisting. Another reason why I have never went live, because I didn't want to get sued for, you know, something I didn't know was the rules. Because I even looked up the tutorials on how to go live and tutorials on the rules of going live. And I kept, didn't see none about whitelisting. So here I am finding about whitelisting from this hacker. So I'm like, you know, thank you for hacking me. You know, you helped me out. Because now I can go live and do what I want to do. That's another thing I was afraid to do. I'd love to just go on live and entertain and sing and dance and all this, whatever. But I can't because I'm like... I'm gonna get flagged. <laughs> but now, I, you know, I, I feel more confident actually doing it after the hack. So it was a good thing. You know, win-win. Kind of lost, but not really. I mean, they'll probably come back for me. They're not gone. I mean, somebody watching me, you might be the hacker. But I blood. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> oh yeah, also, with whitelisting. Did you know you can get in trouble for using copyrighted music on your TikTok, your, your, your lives? I didn't know that. You can get in trouble for that. Even if you didn't know it was playing, like you're recording a video, right? And you're in Starbucks and you're just in front of it. And the music's playing. And you're like, yeah, well, this is what happened. And then your live go, that's why. Cause they were playing probably, but Taylor Swift in the background and they took it down. And I'm like, wow. I, Cause one of the things I wanted to do was a little, a little segment, you know, I just said, I got a little bit of an ego. Um, well you take, I was going to take songs from anybody who published a song and I was gonna really because they're always competing with themselves every singer every rapper they're competing with themselves so as DJ posted I was going to compete with them on their song because I saw this there's the TI had a, a game show right for rappers well that's what they would do they would they took a sample and they were supposed to you know sing better than the sample rap better than the sample so what I was gonna do was gonna take their song just play it and people remember their verse. And I was going to do what was called step on them. I was gonna step on their verse. While they were singing, I was gonna rap at the same time. Freestyle, or singing, or rapping, whatever they're doing, I was gonna try to see if I could do it better on their track. And if you're still singing their track while I'm going, instead of listening or trying to, you know, engage with my track, my part of the track, then they stepped on me. It's like coming after Eminem on his song, and you know, he, he they've already, his song already went platinum. This week. No, you can't win, right? But then you notice that even good rappers had a bad day, but they still put out that song. So you, you know, you can find a weaker rapper to hop on and, <laughs> you know. 
And that's like I was trying to beat up on them or bully on them or nothing. They've already won. They got the song out <laughs> and it did well. But I couldn't do that because of whitelisting. You can't do that. You just can't. That would be a funny thing and a fun thing to do. Because another person I'm noticing, a rapper that I really wanted to go after and stomp on, and I can't. You know, I mean, I've got weaknesses. I know some rappers can straight up step on me. And other ones, I'm like, hold up. I think I can get you freestyle. And it's, you know, it's a challenge because nothing. Some of them are written and some of them are not. Anyway, off of that topic and on to the next book before I go too far off the rails. I actually am planning to go live on TikTok soon. Very, very soon. Like, I don't know how soon because I'm still trying to work out some things. But soon. Oh, uh, yeah. I also got to work on whitelisting because. Supposedly you can get whitelisted by buying it from like a company that has a whole bunch of songs that are free to use and as soon as you sign up you're whitelisted and then supposedly there's other ways of getting whitelisted like in the business account when you you know allow other people to use your content then you're whitelisted. I'm like, do I have to let people use the live? Because if so, I have no problem letting the all other people who made those songs use those my live, where I'm, you know, trying to step on them, win or lose. You know, the reason why my first TikTok I was in three different languages, and my next ones were in two. My first TikToks were in three different languages because I, I wanted to see what would happen if I hit different hashtags with lower numbers. Because you know, you get lost in the algorithm if you hit hashtags with billions of views on it. So you wanna get down to the lowest amount. So uh, I translate it quickly, might I add, so that I can get, you know, French and Spanish on there so I can land in their hashtags. And like French, some of their hashtags got 4,000 views. I was like, 4K? How? How? But nobody's using that. They're using English. And the Spanish ones, oh my gosh, I was like, are people really not on there in Spanish? Because the, the views, I was like, I think I said one of the hashtags that has millions of views in English has like eight in Spanish. <laughs> and I was like, wow, as I was expecting to show up to those people. But anyway, the Spanish is, the Spanish part, I was doing that because I just wanted to get out to more people because Rosewater is going to be available, hopefully, in English, French, and Spanish. But my editing is only available in English and French. I studied French for 12 years. I've been in French since elementary school. It's, you know, I've written papers in French. It's just, you know, <laughs> I have not in Spanish. And that's the reason none of the editing, I'm not offering any of those editing services in Spanish because I don't know them. <laughs> Couldn't if I wanted to. Also, back on that, is that my next bullet? Yes. Um, if you, any of my French speakers out there, I'm not doing this video in French, sorry. Actually, I might be able to talk about that on live, but um, the, the videos that were in French were quickly translated off Google Translate, immediately translated quickly. Why? Because I, one, needed to make the content fast, and two, I, I didn't feel like doing it, I was being lazy, but um, I know that for those who speak French, I'm probably, hopefully, I'm translating this now, so you can see, I did it in French. And I didn't check it. I didn't check to see it. I didn't check the subject agreement. None of that. I think some of the sentences are literally written on there backwards. The editing, I mean, the, some of the uh, punctuation is off. I mean, you throw it in the Google, you get what you get. I already know if you do that and you gotta read through and rearrange some stuff. Like, I don't have any colloquialisms in there. I don't have any slang in there. It's just bap bap and it's like i'm pretty sure if you're reading this in french it probably sounded like yoda was talking to you because remember well i remember from class that if you want to translate something from english to french you need to talk like yoda <laughs> so it'll translate cleanly uh i'll talk about cringe videos but i thank you for letting me you know just massacre your language for a moment there for the sake of uh Science. <laughs> Anything else? That is it. That was my video. Check me out live or any of the other social media platforms. Uh, edit ruthlessly. See you later.